Ms. Clark, are you sure that you don't know anything about Missouri v. Biden? You've not, you don't know anything about that case? Thank you for the opportunity to clarify. This is a case being handled by our civil division, and I assure you, Chairman, that you the Justice read the, Department- Have you read the opinion? Uh, the Justice Department is compliant no, not with that, that. I didn't ask that. Uh, did you read the opinion, either from the Western District of, North, of uh, Louisiana or the Fifth Circuit opinion? Um, I gleaned the ruling, but it's not a civil rights division case. Well, which uh, is it? Because first of all, when Mr. Bishop asked, you said you didn't know one darn thing about it. Now you're saying you gleaned I, or you I, glanced or what? I, I, I appreciate the opportunity to clarify. The civil division is handling this case, and the department this, is compliant with the court's Well, First uh, Amendment injunction. rights are, 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 are pretty fundamental rights. They're, they don't. That's something you don't think. The Civil Rights Division should be involved in this, absolutely, is, this is censorship. Absolutely, Chairman. The First but Amendment not? is a bedrock principle of our democracy. Well, let me cut. Let me go. Let me go a little different route. Then, do politics drive the decisions at the Justice Department today? Politics have no place in the work of the Civil Rights Division. Three months or the ago, Justice three Department. months ago, the New Mexico governor announced a 30-day ban on citizens' right to carry a concealed firearm in Albuquerque and the county that Albuquerque sits in. What did the Justice Department do when the governor did that unconstitutional order? What did the DOJ do in response to that unconstitutional action from the governor of New Mexico? Um, I am generally aware of um, the matter that you are referring to, but gun control is, is not a core issue. Uh, that we handle Second Amendment, a fundamental issue. right like the First Amendment, it's pretty important, isn't it? These are very important issues to the department. Well, tell me what the Justice Department did when this happened, when the, when the governor imposed this unconstitutional ban. I'm, I'm happy to bring your question back to my colleagues. So you don't know that one either? The criminal division and the civil division. You don't know about Missouri v. Biden. You don't know what the, what the DOJ did in response to the governor of New Mexico's action. Well, here's what the county sheriff said. He held a press conference saying that this thing was unconstitutional, unenforceable, and incapable of stopping and curbing gun violence. The New Mexico attorney general, who's a Democrat, said this thing will not have any impact on public safety and does not pass constitutional muster. So when the Democrat Attorney General in New Mexico said it doesn't fit the Constitution, but you guys at DOJ don't do a darn thing? Is that Poli what you're telling me? Uh, politics have no place in the work of the Justice Department chairman, but- Are I you aware of anything the Justice Department did to that unconstitutional order from the governor of New Mexico? Not in the Civil Rights Division, Chairman, but I okay, can certainly- Okay, Roder, you're, you're an important person at the Justice Department. Did the Justice Department do anything? Uh, yes, we enforced the, the laws that Congress gave us, Chairman. No, in this case, did you do? Did the Justice Department do anything? I will bring that question back to. I'll my give you the colleagues. answer. They didn't. They didn't follow an amicus. They didn't put any statement of interest. They didn't do a darn thing, which gets back to the point I think Mr. McClintock was making earlier. It shows, I think, how political you are because when Texas passed a pro-life bill on September first, twenty twenty-one, eight days later. The Department of Justice announces an investigation into that bill. Now, th this is what amazes me. That's a bill that actually passed the state house, passed the state senate, and was signed by the governor. And you guys are in there uh, uh, contesting that eight days later. But you have something in New Mexico, which is an obvious direct assault on the Second Amendment, and it's an order from the governor. It didn't go through the legislature. The governor does it, and the Department of Justice does nothing. Um, the Civil Rights Division is deeply committed to enforcing the laws that this body gave us and committed to standing up for the rights, the civil rights of all Americans, Chairman. Well, you can say it, but based on some of your other answers, not knowing the first thing about Missouri v. Biden, not knowing what, if anything, was done, because nothing was actually done relative to the governor's unconstitutional order regarding New Mexico citizens and residents uh, and Americans, right, uh, Second Amendment rights. Um, this is why we're so darn concerned. I appreciate the chairman having this hearing. With that, I got 38 seconds. I'd be happy to yield to the gentleman from Arizona. I thank the gentleman for yielding. And I just want to ask this because I'm over here. So sorry. You ha you answered a previous question saying that if a governor did something, they were talking about Texas. The, the representative did not like the Texas law regarding uh, immigration. You said that you guys, the Civil Rights Division. We could file a lawsuit. Well, a lawsuit was filed in the case that the chairman was talking about. 
but you guys did not participate in that. Yep. Do, you, do you disregard Second Amendment rights? Is that not important? And if, some, if a governor violates those, laws, uh, those rights directly, is that not important enough for the Civil Rights Division to get involved in? So I, I understand that the New Mexico order was enjoined within two days of entry, but I did want to um, make clear that gun control is not an area that the Civil Rights Division, under any administration, has historically uh, worked um, much around. It is an important, the Second Amendment, of course, is an important part of our Constitution, Congressman. So just a quick follow-up. I mean, so what you're telling us that Civil Rights Division will not protect Second Amendment rights. Um, we enforce the laws that Congress gave us and uh, weighing in on Second Amendment and the, gun control issues across any administration has never been a core aspect of the division's work. 